Hello everyone, Gabe here, PC community developer here at Ubisoft, and today we're going to be talking about some Assassin's Creed Valhalla PC goodness. But to give you the information you need, we of course need the people that know what they're talking about. And we were lucky enough to steal a little bit of their time to go through the ins and outs of what you can expect from the PC version of the game. But that's enough of an intro, let's get to it. Building the best experience possible is at the heart of what the team set out to achieve when building the PC version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. From the very start, there were a few key elements the team nailed down and focused on. Variability, customization, accessibility, and hardware performance. All of these key pillars are aimed at delivering the best PC features at great quality without compromising any aspect of the overall experience and making sure that you can play the game the way you want to. Let's start off by talking about some of the things on the performance side. At this point, we all know how important rendering APIs are for the performance of the game, and armed with that information, it's one of the biggest steps forward the team took with Valhalla as it's the first Assassin's Creed game to use DX12. Using DX12 has allowed the team to improve the overall performance and stability of the game, while also bringing new render techniques to help bring Norway and England to life in even more details. On top of that, the swap to DX12 also gave the team more control over memory usage and CPU parallelism, which in very simple terms helps reduce the load on your CPU overall as the extra control has allowed the team to make sure the CPU can do more things at the same time. This was super important for the team as it still allows less powerful hardware to still get great performance while maintaining high quality visuals. It goes without saying that engines play a huge role in shaping your overall experience, and the Anvil engine is one thing that is tried and true with the Assassin's Creed games. The team has been hard at work building on that solid technology to bring further improvements. One of the main improvements and key focuses was on the side of scalability to again achieve that goal of making sure as many people as possible can play comfortably. On the other side of scalability, it's also important that you can push your hardware to its limit, especially for all of you with those high refresh rate monitors, so there is no FPS cap. PC isn't PC though, unless you have the ability to customize tons of different settings, and the PC dev team knows that. Once you dive into the options, you'll find over 120 different things that you can tweak and customize to your liking. This of course includes in-depth mouse and keyboard control customizations and support for all major controllers out there. While you're tweaking those settings, you also have a full representation of those devices while you're changing it, so you can see exactly what key bindings do what. If for some reason you want to use both mouse and keyboard and controller, you can also do that using what the team calls hybrid input. That will allow you to use several devices at the same time to help you navigate your way through the game. On top of that, when it comes to the visual and display options, you'll find support for multi-monitor displays, various aspect ratios, an FPS limit slider you can set yourself, and tons of graphical settings that you can toy around with. There are also a few settings like adaptive quality that you can enable to help tweak your performance on the fly, as well as resolution modifiers if you're looking to push your resolution and for example, emulate a 4K monitor on a 1080p screen. All of that's fantastic, but it's important that you get the performance level that you want, which is why there's an in-game benchmark available with in-depth performance analytics on top of that, so you can tweak your settings and see how they perform to find the right balance. Take your overall experience to the next level, we've been working with a few awesome partners. The team has been working closely with AMD to further optimize and improve the PC experience, as well as MSI to integrate their Mystic Light features, and Toby for all that eye tracking goodness. You'll find out more information about all of that linked in the description below. So with that we have some handy PC specs so you know what that all means when we translate it into some hardware. Before we get into this, there are two important things to note. The game requires a graphics card with DX12 support and you'll need Windows 10 64-bit. For the first category, we have the low preset at 1080p with an average performance of around 30 FPS. For the graphics card, you're looking at an AMD R9 380 or a GeForce GTX 960. On the CPU side, you'll need an AMD Ryzen 3 1200 or an Intel i5 4460. You'll need 8 gigs of RAM and dual channel setup. In terms of storage space, you'll need a 50 gig hard drive, but we recommend a solid state drive. 
For the next category we have the high preset at 1080p with an average performance of around 30 fps. For graphics card you're looking at AMD RX 570 or a GeForce GTX 1060, the 6GB version. The CPU you'll need an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 or an Intel i7 4790. You'll need 8GB of RAM in the dual channel setup. You'll need the same 50GB of storage space installed all in an SSD, which is consistent for the rest of the categories. Next up we have the high graphical preset at 1080p with an average performance of around 60 FPS. For a graphics card you're looking at AMD Vega 64 or a GeForce GTX 1080. For the CPU you'll need an AMD Ryzen 7 1700 or an Intel i7 6700. For the RAM you'll need the same 8 gigs in the dual channel mode setup. For the next category we have the very high graphical preset at 1440p with an average performance of around 60 fps. For graphics card you'll need an AMD RX 5700 XT or a GeForce RTX 2080 Super. For the CPU you'll need an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 or an Intel i7-8700K. For RAM you're looking at 16GB in the dual channel mode setup. And finally have the ultra graphical preset at 4K with an average performance of around 30 FPS. For the graphics card you're looking at an AMD RX 5700 XT or a GeForce RTX 2080. On the CPU side you'll need an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X or an Intel i7 9700K. You'll need the same 16GB in dual channel mode setup. And that about wraps it up. We hope that gives you a good idea of what you can expect from the PC version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Make sure you're following the Assassin's Creed team on all their channels which you'll find linked down in the description below to stay up to date on all the latest news. But, and as always, if you have any feedback, please leave them down in the comment section below. We'll see you next time. Bye.